Fiber, the tool to build the tools you need. Powerful, flexible, and a pain in the ass to set up. Today we'll look at Fiber's structure and views, entities and relationships, integrations, automations, reports, and finally, some use cases. Let's start with structure. Fiber is made up of spaces. Within each space are databases. Within each database are entities of a specific nature. Task database for tasks, event database for events, etc. If it has the same fields, it's the same thing. And it's bad practice to have different databases for the same thing. Same thing, same database. You can filter what you need later. Different thing, different database. Because you don't want to have database where half your fields are empty. You can always use databases across different spaces with views. Table, board, list, timeline, calendar, report, which we'll get to later, feed, map, document, whiteboard, form, thread, folder, and smart folder. Most of these views are just different ways to view your entities, but how does an entity itself look like? Like this. Wow. Set the two columns or one as you please, and it'll reflect on all entities in this database. Most of your fields are here or here or here, and if they aren't, they might be hidden. Again, reflecting on all entities in this database. Your rich text fields are here, giving your entity the power of a document. The common field is here, if your entity has it, and polyamorous relationships are here. What? Relationships. Just like in real life, entities can have relationships with each other, either one-to-one, -one, one to many or many-to-many. -many. Note that once you set a many side of a relationship, it can no longer be changed back to one. You set relationships just like you would any field, and you can view your related to many entities here, even give them different views. That's entities and relationships. Next, integrations. Within a space, press integrate. Pick your app of choice, follow the steps, and huzzah. All the data from the app is synced directly into Fiber. You can add views as you please, but this data is read only. But you can add more fields into the data, which is indeed editable. Automations, super powerful. Only space creators and admins have access. Go to automations, either trigger by rule or by button. For example, when the task is set to done, set the done date to now, and you're good. And if you feel more tech savvy, you can get more complicated automations with scripting, even making API calls to other services. Reports, new report, set which database you want to report on, set your X axis, set your Y axis, and you're good. Reports are really powerful, but can also get a little bit complicated to set up. That's Fiber in 200 seconds. With this, you can set up almost everything you need from task management, onboarding processes, product management, time tracking, inventory, literally anything that is based on a database. I hope to see you next week, where we'll do a deep dive into database structures.